Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 900, the big brother to the Lumia 800 that's been a fairly popular Windows phone here in the UK. So this is the black version and you can see the bands it supports for uh, GSM and uh, GPRS. We've also got 3G support on 850, 900, 1900 and 2100 MHz. So, Quite standard Nokia packaging. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. So you've got that outer sleeve and then you get this packaging here. Very similar to uh, other Nokia products we're seeing of late. And a quick uh, rundown of some of the specs we can see here that it's a micro uh, SIM enabled device. We get supplied with the USB cable, the power cable, the headphones, the document, the phone itself and the box. And of course it's got Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps and Nokia Music on it and a Carl Zeiss lens when it comes to the camera. So it is Windows Phone, Windows Phone 7.5 or Mango it's otherwise known and you're getting all the latest features and functions on this phone when it comes to Windows. So we'll come back to that in a moment. And then let's take a look at what you actually get in the box here. So it's well packaged. You do get a Nokia SIM door key, as we've seen on the likes of the One X and the Apple iPhone. And that allows you to actually uh, release the SIM card uh, slot into which you can put the micro SIM. You get the documentation, sort of fairly basic standard quick start guide and warranty information. You then get supplied with a white micro USB to USB uh, cable, so that can go into this. The three pin UK mains adapter, connect the USB into there and charge the device or use this to connect it directly to a computer. You then have a set of in-ear headphones with 3.5 millimeter connection and inline microphone and control. And that's it in terms of uh, actual packaging. And let's just take a look at the device. So here is the device. As you can see, the main focus on the front is the large 4.3 inch AMOLED clear black display with a resolution of 480 by 800. So it's using um, Samsung technology with AMOLED display here. We've then got three capacitive buttons back Windows and search key as we've seen on other Nokia devices and then we've got the front-facing um, camera there at one megapixel for video calls or uh, other video related things. We've got a speaker on the actual bottom of the device. Round to the side we have got the uh, camera power and volume keys. On the top we've then got the uh, SIM card slot where you use the little key to um, eject that. You've then got the micro USB connection, you've got a microphone, and you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there for audio out. The other side is then flush. And then on the back, we have the camera, which is eight megapixels uh, with the LED flash just there under the plastic. It's got autofocus and an F2.2 lens. Um, you can see the design is uh, very similar to the Nokia Lumia 800, it's just a bigger phone. So let's actually uh, power this device on and show you what you um, get. So it's got the Windows phone, it's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi to the new end standard. Um, it weighs in at about 160 grams, so it's not the lightest of phones, uh, but it's not that heavy. It feels quite solid, um, it's quite square, it's not going to be to everybody's... Uh, taste because of the actual size of it um, you know it strikes as a manly phone um, don't want to put you off if you are a female and looking at this phone it's just it's black um, it's quite square although it's got the curved edges um, it, it's quite um, an impressive phone in terms of the way it looks it hasn't got some of the softer features we're seeing on devices now so we're just going to quickly uh, go through the standard setup here you will have seen this all before, no doubt. So it's just going to boot up here. Just go through that. 
and it will install the applications and get through to the Windows um, operating system. Now, Windows isn't necessarily the most popular operating system, but there is a lot going for it. The uh, user interface um, is quite appealing. Um, it's got some more and more apps being added it to it every day. Um, more and more devices are now starting to take on Windows um, Phone as an operating system. So it is m maturing um, or sort of growing in, in popularity slowly. Um, if you need to make calls, emails, web browsing, you can do all of that. Navigation um, is another strong point because it's got Nokia Drive on here, um, so you're less limited um, than you might have been on some other devices. It all comes um, sort of free of charge, if you like. So let's just uh, let that run through the boot up procedure. Okay, so the Lumia has now finished its boot up. It takes a couple of minutes to do that. And here we are presented with the sort of standard Windows interface um, on here. So we've got the phone functionality here. Now we haven't got a SIM card uh, on this, but we can type in a number. And of course you can synchronize this up to your uh, Windows Live account to download um, your contacts. You can of course store them on the SIM card as well. We can add contacts here. We can press the Windows key to go home. If we had contacts uh, stored on our device we get quick access to it there. We've got our messaging so we can start a new message and one of the nice things about uh, Windows Phone is the keyboard is very good at picking up the text. You know it's quite quick now we've got that in portrait, we can go landscape on there as well if you choose and a lot of people prefer to do that, it allows you to get a quicker rate of typing quite often. We can then come out of that. We've got email on here, now we haven't set that up but you get the idea, it's all um, included on here. We've got Nokia Maps, so this is uh, great for finding your position. Uh, essentially uh, very similar to Google Maps. Um, of course we haven't got a SIM uh, inserted or a Wi-Fi connection at the moment so there are some limitations there. Nokia Music as well and you've even got some pre-installed apps like TripAdvisor. We've got Internet Explorer, we've got our calendar. So the fairly basic things are all there. And in terms of taking um, a picture on this you've got the uh, 8 megapixel camera with Carl Zeiss um, optics so you're going to get a good shot very similar to the Nokia Lumia 800 and uh, you can record video here as well you've got zoom capabilities you've got the option to change some of the settings uh, in both the video and the uh, standard photos now on here you can only go up to 720p, not full 1080, and some of the settings aren't as vast as you get on some other phones, but they're enough for most people to take a reasonably decent um, shot. So we've got all of the uh, applications on here, including Microsoft Office, so you can handle your documents uh, wherever you may be. Just gonna go into the settings now, just going to connect up to Wi-Fi because I want to show you the uh, web browser in action. So that's just connecting to the wireless uh, network, which is now done. And whilst we're here, we'll show you that it has got internet sharing on Windows Phone 7.5 now. So you can use this as a wireless hotspot. Just simply switch on and share your phone's internet connection with other devices. You've got all the different customization options on here, including screen brightness, um, the language options, phone updates, as you'd expect. So let's just go back into the web browser to uh, show you that in action. So here we are at the BBC website, now it's defaulted to a uh, mobile view, but you can go through and browse it, you can uh, take it into landscape mode if you choose, you can 
click into it and it all renders on screen to make it nice and easy to read the text. You can pinch and zoom. You can also or do have some facilities around tapping on the screen just to make sure it's all rendering correctly. So those are just a few features of the Nokia Lumia 900. It's now available in the UK, SIM free, unlocked at clove.co.uk.